chai mei class. So for anybody who's never done chai mei, it's um, just a nice, slow, gentle class. Um, it's tai chi moves um, taken and, and put into a class, so the whole class flows from start to finish. So before we just start, we're going to grind through the feet. We've got Claire doing it in the chair, so you can also do it in the chair. The only thing with the chair participation is that we just use our arms and leave the legs and the balance out. So we're going, just going to start off by taking our hands together. Rub the hands together so you get a little bit of heat into the palms. And you just feel the energy build up in your hands. And this is our chi from the body. And we're just going to slow the hands down and just prise the hands apart. And you really feel that heat between the hands. And just take the hands in and out. Now we want to close our eyes here and just relax into it. Focusing on the breath, breathing, breathing in long and slow through the nose. And exhale fully through the mouth. Trying to raise all the thoughts from your head. And just think nice, calm, positive thoughts. Now we're focusing on this little ball of energy that's in our hands. We're going to take one hand up and one hand down and start to rotate. We can open our eyes here and rotate all the way to one side. Take the top hand, place it at the bottom. The bottom hand, place it at the top and we float it all the way down to the opposite side. We're grinding through those feet. Spine is nice and long. And we want to try and synchronise our breath to the movement. So we exhale to float all the way across one leg. And inhale the other leg. And if you're breathing too fast, it may mean that you're moving too fast. So we just want to slow it down. Keep it nice and calm. And from here, we're going to come back to the center. Take that top hand, and we're going to reach to the ceiling. The bottom hand reaches to the floor. Stretch it through. And inhale, bring it. The hands back in to the ball. Top hand to the bottom, bottom to the top, and we reach to the opposite side. Just moving slowly in your own time. That's our last one. Come back to center. So bring the hands to the sides. We're going to take one heel, place the heel on the floor, and the toe on the floor. We just want to get those ankles mobilised before we start moving. Push the heel down. And then take the heel to the back and reach tall. Inhale, float the arms back. Again, if you're in your chair, just do the arms. Leave the legs out. One more time. Bring it back in and bring the hands down. Heel and toe on the opposite side. Heel down, toe down. Getting as much mobility into that ankle as you can. And then press the heel down. Push back. Inhale. Exhale. And step it back in. So from here we're going to take a step wide. If you're in your chair, just work with the arms. So from here, we're going to transfer the body weight from side to side. Try to have a nice long spine. We're going to take the arms out lengthen to the side and float up and over, painting rainbows. Inhale through the nose and exhale as you float all the way to the other side. And just imagine you're the only person in the room. Empty the brain of all the thoughts. And just be in the here and now. It's like a tree blowing in the wind. Bring it back to centre. And then bring the feet back together. Float the arms up. And then float the hands down. Sinking into the knees. This is going to be our linking move, so each exercise we do, we'll come back to this move, just so that the whole program flows from start to finish. Then 
Inhale, float up. Exhale, float down. Next move is coming, water so we're going to step out with the foot. Take the palms down and draw a big circle, open it up through the arms, drive the elbows back. Inhale, push forward. Exhale, flow back. Coming inward. Keeping that spine long. We're inhaling forward. Exhale back. One on each side. Step back in, come back to center, and we float the arms once again into our linking moves, sinking into the knees. Feel the ground firmly below you as you ground those feet. Stepping onto the opposite side, feet down, toe down, calming waters, palms down, spine long. Synchronize the breath to the movement. Here. Taking it back to our linking moves, moving the arms and sinking into the knees. Our next move is cloud ham. We float the right hand up. Keep your eyes on the palm as you follow that hand all the way to the side and bring it all the way back. Changing arms. Dropping those knees if you wish, if you're standing. that arm down, back to your linking moves, float the arms up, sink into the knees, all down. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling fully through the mouth. And we're stepping forward again, feet down, toe down. We're going to block the hands, cross them down. We're going to take the hands across and draw a big circle with those arms. Come back in. Let's do that again. Now we're going to add on to this move when we get back to here. We're going to open the heart. And then close back into your cross arms. Circle the arms. We put the two moves together. Open your heart. Big deep breath in. Exhale, close. And release. Arms are now behind. One more time. Inhale. Open and close. Slowly bring it back 
in and we make our words flow in the arms up and down. Back to center, back to your making notes. Inhale through the nose, exhale second. So we're going to change the arm moves slightly here. We're going to float the arms up, bend the elbows, bring your arms in and push down. Inhale. Coming into our little closing sequence. Inhale. Now take the hands by the sides, float them up to fly like a clip. Exhale, push the hands down. And, and from here we bring the hands together in prayer. Extend them up over the head, lift the heart, and then circle the hands as we separate them, bring them round. Bring the left hand, make a fist, bring the right hand, make the palm up, body namaste. Thank you very much. <laughs>